Hi, in earlier video I showed you how to install Ruby on your Windows machine using Rails installer. Now in this video we will see how to create Ruby on Rails project on your Windows machine. Now open your command prompt and check for the Ruby version. Okay, so if you do Ruby-V then it should show you the version installed. If you don't see this message, that means you need to adjust your system path variable. Okay, now let's navigate to the directory where we want to create our Rails projects. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so in my case, it is temp directory. Now, first thing to do here is install rails chain okay if it is already installed then it will try to update okay, it will go through the installation process let me allow the access okay at the end you will find total number of gms installed message and now you can run your rails project command here so let's just clear console you can also open another console if you want to simultaneously work in between same directory because when we start the server you will find that you have to use another command prompt to access that directory okay so you can go to your directory okay and here you type in rails new and let's say name of your project in my case i'm going to name it rails new post or you can say blog post okay so blog post is my project name and i'm going to hit enter and it should start process for creation of files and then finally it will give me the message that project structure is created okay so it will fetch some data from ruby gems repository at the end you will find this message and that means your project is properly created so now you can cd to your blog post directory and here you have to type rails so this will start the instance of rails on this directory and all the project files will be taken live and as you can see it will show you the message that rails application starting in development on localhost 3000 so let's go there so type in localhost and then 3000 and it will say yeah you are on rails that means you have rails project running on this address so you have created your first Rails project on Windows.